Uh, guys, before I get anywhere in this video today, please forgive the noise. I've got a little incubator sitting in my office with me uh, here right now. We just had a little chick hatch day, so you may hear some of that in the background noise. Um, and it, it's definitely a cold day outside. Um, the thing that I want to cover in this video is, first off, I just want to say thank you guys for 30,000 subscribers. That's, that's insane. A lot of YouTube channels will never, ever crash that. And... From what I've heard, they say, you know, once you hit that 30K mark, that that's, you know, legit as you get at that point, that pretty much your YouTube channel is going to be successful, which um, that's awesome. Um, and I just appreciate it because, you know, I think we're going on four years with the channel. And, uh, you know, I'm passionate about doing this channel for two reasons. Number one is just to get the word out and warn people about the end days coming. And second, you all know I love to tinker. I love to build things. And, um, and I've got a lot of that to cover in the video today. But before I go anywhere with this, I want to get just the little tiny negative thing out of the way. And then from there, it's none but positivity uh, through the video. And I'm going to go over everything we're going to get into for the year, roughly summarized. Um, I just want to say that I've noticed over the past year, um, I've picked up a lot of um, supremacists on both sides of the fence. Um, white and black supremacist people. Um, globe lovers for NASA, um, hateful Hebrews, um, the ones that think, you know, that just have to come on there and tell everybody in the world how that we're all going to be slaves and pieces of scum for, you know, me telling people about the true Hebrews. Listen, I get a lot, a big array of people that they just, in their heart, it's got issues. Um, and I've had to go ban them. Like, I, I mean, like, there's some, you know, there's, I just get in a whole list of crazy people out there. Um, and I pretty much have thinned that down, and um, I've also went through the comments on my channel, and if you see anything that's derogatory or for some reason slipped through the cracks that has any foul language in it, please let me know, um, as that I'll get that deleted off the channel, because I want to keep this as family friendly as always, we always have. Um, and I've also found a way on the program there to keep real-time tracking of when you guys comment. Um, on fresh new videos that post and older ones too so that I can start interacting with y'all constantly and I'm going to try to start doing this like live uh, chat thing on there or something Google Hangout or something like that I'm gonna, I'm getting, I'm starting to get this figured out um, and so anyway uh, if you've noticed a lot of your comments as soon as you drop them on there I'm trying to respond to you nowadays as quick as I can unless it's the day I'm on a job site um, and building. So anyway, uh, with all that out of the way now, we want to get into what's up for 2016. I am very excited. We got big builds, big adventures coming up. Last year, I was here domestic, went out of the country too. Um, uh, I'm sorry, was that right at the turn of the year? It might have been right at the turn of the year. Anyway, this year, um, I've got a bunch of big adventures coming up. Some of it's out of the country. People's going to let me film it. I've got big builds coming up. They're going to let me film. Got a lot of unique little things cooking. Um, and, um, and thankfully the folks are going to let me film it. And we're already booked up for like a third of the year already. So I'm really excited that we're going to have this chair. We just bear with me because as soon as the winter passes on some of this stuff, we can get to churning away with it and get it built. Uh, and I'll get it up on the channel. And uh, I'm going to try to start doing walkthroughs as we're building it. If you've seen that big 7 point something, I think it's 7.2 KW install we done on so I'm going to start trying to go in-depth, line for line, showing you how to do your own work um, because, you know, I, I just think that would be helpful to people that, that want to do their own work. And on offgridcontracting.com, we've got a new section about do-it-yourself videos. You can check it out. Um, this year, we're going to be adding a bunch to it. All right, so uh, people have asked me, what happened to the tiny house series? Are we going to still build a tiny house? Look, folks, this is where I'm at with it. Um, this winter, me and my wife pulled the trigger and decided to remodel our home. I was going to work on a tiny house outdoors during the winter, and uh, and I had some funds laid back to you know keep the skeleton getting framed in, get the work done on it, and we dumped that in like all sorts of junk, like new flooring, like this room right here in my office. I'm ripping floor up, putting new flooring down right now. We've done flooring through the house, just all sorts of different crazy junk that we're remodeling. Um, and so I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to finish the tiny house out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the skeleton done. Um, and then probably we're going to sell it. Um, that's kind of where I'm at with it right now. And I'll tell you for why that I'm going to sell it here in a minute for two reasons. Um, if you're interested in it right now, I've got the, the framework done on it and everything. Like you see in the videos, I'll let that thing go down the road for $2,500. Just give me a yell. 
Um, otherwise, I'm going to skeleton it out, and I guess we'll sell it then. Um, the reason that I'm going to sell Tiny House is I've got another project that I really want to work on is that my son and me want to build a Hobbit house. And we want, we want we want to kind of do Hobbit house slash earth bag kind of house deal. And we got this hillside uh, out back, and we want to cut into the bank there. And we want to do, like, make him his own little studio apartment thing out back. Um, but also, like, when we have guests and family and friends come, it'd be like a nice little um, guest house from the staying in out back. And we want to do it. We want to do this thing under, under two grand. That's our little budget. Um, and so um, we're going we're gonna to try to flip that. And little man's excited about that. Um, so that's one of the reasons I'm going to let Tiny House go is because we're kind of doing that just a fun project to build um, and plus have it in case somebody needed a house in here on the farm because it's one thing I'm remodeling on the farm right now is because I have a lot of family and friends that's going to come here to the farm when hard times come um, and I'm trying to prepare a place for them um, so that you know everybody has a place to lay their head plus a nice place to lay their head. Um, so that's where I'm at with a Tiny House video um, and, and the Hobbit thing. Uh, you know we're 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 gonna we're gonna have something quality content up in replacement for that tiny house if we don't finish it out. Now the other thing people's asking me about is the video about Messiah's true name, Master Yahweh. Nobody has a problem accepting and acknowledging the Paleo Hebrew name or the modern Hebrew um, showing his his name, um, and the Son come in the Father's name, which is not the J E. You know the, the the J word from Rome. So um, you know I've got all I'm putting together a mini documentary, kind of like I know about the true Hebrews. Please be patient with me. I'm almost done because I'm trying to do everything. I mean everything from Hezekiah's seal that has his name, uh, Master Yahweh's name inscribed in it, Paleo Hebrew. I'm trying to walk it forward from there to Messiah's name, and then how everything's been so construed from Rome and Greek and all this junk and you know, all the abomination that's going on out there right now, um, because you need to be able to walk from the start to finish. Um, and I just want to backstep for a minute on, you know, um, somebody brought this comment to me um, not too long ago about the true Hebrews and said that, um, you know, it's the, the Hebrew Israelites that are charged to take the name and take his word to the nations. I got no argument with that. Um, here's my problem right now, is until most of those people get their head out of their backside and decide to go back to keeping the master's tour um, and walking in statutes and judgments, I don't know how in the world they're gonna be able to instruct the world. So in the meantime, uh, those of us Gentiles that have a zeal for the most high, uh, I'm just trying to help get the word out there. So, you know, I'm not trying to take your place. Um, just getting that out there, I had, a, had some thoughts come across on YouTube about that lately. And guys, folks, I say all the time that I'm a Gentile converted to follow Master Yah. Um, that's where I'm at with it, and I just want to help spread the kingdom. If people got a problem with that, you know, don't watch the channel. <laughs> you know? Um, man. So anyway, um, next is uh, I've got uh, some things coming up that um, as far as working with uh, some brothers and sisters that are true Hebrew Israelites, we, we got a big project ahead of us. Um, I think when it's done, it's going to blow your mind, especially if all works out where we're planning to film it. Um, and I hope it's a wake-up call to the Hebrew and the Gentile together. Um, and I hope it shows um, us working together in love because I see all these street preachers, um, and I see at both sides of the board... Um, and, you know, a lot of times it's never spoken in love or in an educational manner. And I'm hoping that this uh, is in a way that will win people for the kingdom. Uh, Hebrew and Gentile converge standing together. Um, I'm going to start doing some old world videos. What I mean by that is um, if we can get that Hobbit house done this spring uh, in the hillside, I'd love to like have also a little spot in there that we can just use for filming. Um, to do a lot of woodworking, bushcraft, and projects, um, old school and stuff, because I've got a bunch of uh, projects laying around from especially pocket box that I'm wanting to get caught up in, like woodcraft and things like that, um, and get that going. And um, and the last thing is, this summer, I'm kind of wanting to get feedback. I'm going to do a separate video probably on this, is that if people are interested, 
we're going to do an off-grid, hands-on class here on the farm. We're going to limit to it about 30 people. We may do two or three classes of this. Um, uh, that way there's enough that if people want to come, they can do it. Um, and we're going to take you step-by-step step through wind power. And I mean hands-on. We're going to take you step-by-step step through solar. We're going to show you solar air heating. We're going to show you water and water pump. And I mean, you know, from you, you name it, we're going to try to uh, just cover the full gambit. Um, and, and the class will be 100 bucks, and it'll be probably be either a one or two day event. We're going to feed you. Um, and um, yeah, so the, I'll get the info up about that. That will be at offgridcontracting.com, the info on that. And uh, guys, I'm looking forward to a very exciting, very busy 2016. Um, you know, the Master Yalpa's true um, new year is coming around the corner here just very soon in the spring. And, uh, you know, I hope to be full bore with um, content coming on the channel from this and, and please bear with me you know because my life is extremely changed over the past year because a little over a year ago I was almost homeless destitute and on the street um, and a year later I'm doing okay We're, but at the same time I'm working for myself running my own business so you know that um, with, with that you know with, with doing so um, you know I have to be very careful about um, staying busy and, um, and staying constantly out there making a dollar because you work for yourself, you, that's just how it is. And um, I know it's kind of cut in on like keeping videos coming, but also when I'm making a video anymore, I want it to be extremely um, good content. The last thing I want to say, and I'll say, uh, yeah, I, I, want, I want to say this for the very end, there is one build project coming up very soon I'm super excited about, and we're going to end this video, I'll tell you about this one in the video. It is going to change and revolutionize the way people get drinking water. Um, now, there's a couple people out there kind of doing what I'm about to, to, to produce, um, but um, when I'm done building this, it's going to change people's lives. Um, you, you know, a lot of people can't harvest rain water um, normally, um, and I found a way for you to harvest water that's totally legal anywhere in the world. Um, it, it's efficient. It can run off grid constant. I'm just super excited about it. the build video will be up, taking you step by step by step by step how to do it. Um, probably I'm gonna try to have it done in a month. That's my goal. And um, yeah, I mean it's gonna be greater than the wood gas and fire build and all these other build projects we ever done. I mean there'll be none of them that'll hold a lot to the quality. I think of this one coming up and. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at with it. So I think I've covered everything. Once again, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. I hope it is always a blessing to you. Please pray for me for I'm a sinner and I want to be counted worthy um, to enter the kingdom. And I pray we all are counted worthy to escape things coming up on earth. So until we see you here, see you on this perfect channel. As always, guys, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua.